Hello and welcome to this like bonus video thing about Kerbal Space Program. This is a design I just designed and I had my first successful test flight a moment ago and I wish I'd been recording then but oh well too late. Anyhow, this is uh, I think I shall call it the poor man's uh, VTOL. As you can see it's a little bit hard to get into the air because it likes to fall on its face. But, uh, once you're in the air, this plane, uh, flies pretty well and looks pretty weird with all those little rockets stuck under there. Ah, ooh, ah, ah, oh, precision controls aren't on. That explains it. I was kind of, like, freaking out. Oh, and now it's gonna freeze while I'm switching to the cockpit. Why are precision controls not... There we go. Oh, bollocks! Pulling some high Gs, doing these fast turns, almost screwing up repeatedly. Jeez. It's amazing, uh, it seems you turn off precision controls when you, uh, lag out, because it seems to react as if precision controls were off when I was lagging out just now. Flying in the cockpit's kind of fun. Although it kind of sucks also because you can't see like how close you're actually getting to the ground. And it's really shaky. Like, you know. Woohoo! Oh, no, no. We. Yeah, this is a fun little plane. I guess I'll go ahead and release this. Uh, I don't have a name for it though. What should I call it? I really have no idea. I'm having fun flying it though. I guess I'll just call it the poor man's VTOL. Oh, shit. That thing turns. That thing uh, rolls way too fast. And then here we have the uh, Crescian Shuttle Mark 1, which I'm not releasing because it doesn't work yet. Basically, the problem with this design is that it um, it doesn't go into space and stay there. It doesn't get into orbit, or at least not easily. I bet a better pilot than I could get it into orbit, but I can't, and I don't post things that I can't even fly because that's stupid. It looks cool, though. I mean... Doesn't this look pretty damn awesome? This looks like a pretty damn awesome shuttle, don't it? Woohoo! Yeah! It's a little bit wonky when you get it off, off of where it's pointing. Like, it's very easy to accidentally uh, have the rear end of this thing facing the direction you're going. And then once you do that, you're kind of screwed. Oh yeah, and it's tied to the same control. It's like an emergency release, I guess. Uh, where you can cut your front landing gear and deploy a parachute. Because I decided to make it that way. I don't know why. But yeah, let's just uh, fly this down. This may end very badly. Or not badly. I'm not sure yet. Let's see. very high speed and the parachute just comes right off. Alright. Let's land this thing. We're still going up. And now we're starting to fall. Yay. Yes, I'm going to land this thing without a front landing gear. I know, I'm awesome, huh? I wish I could be doing this from in the cockpit, but unfortunately I can't. I'm also going to land it on the runway. Bet you didn't think I could do that, did you? I also forgot to turn on precision controls and didn't even notice. Interesting. I don't think I'm actually going to make it all the way to the runway, but then again, I might. I said that, but, you know, 
I didn't actually intend to. Oh yeah, I still have a bunch of fuel on board. I could actually uh, turn on the engines and make myself make it to the runway. I forgot that I had engines still. <laughs> I was uh, treating this like the NASA shuttle when, you know, when they take it in, they glide it in because it don't have no fuel left. very low approach angle and uh, we're not gonna make it because we're coming down way too fast to make it mmm mmm so close so cl wait wait we might still mm. come on come on oh, bollocks bollocks to it oops <laughs> I messed that one up a little bit. That was fun though. And then I want to show you this one, which is Mark III of uh, the Stockbreaker, which is basically uh, I wanted to have a new, very maneuverable, fun to fly plane for version 17, but uh, I wanted it to be stock this time instead of relying on mods. So version 2 added these fuel lines because I forgot that uh, fuel changed the way it worked. Version 3 added these fuel tanks and the intakes up front and then also the struts attaching the tailpiece on better because turns out um, this thing can uh, mess mess up with that. Yeah. But doesn't this look beautiful? And it's got a... I love the profile of it because look at this. It's got a giant ass tail. Doesn't that just look awesome? And then also the way this is angled the way the engines are actually angled, if you look at the uh, center of thrust, the thrust is actually pointing up. But look at this, look at this. I love these indicators. These are so useful. I can design a plane that I know will lift off when I make it. It's so awesome. So, precision controls on. Let's, let's go. This thing's a beauty. It likes to turn to the left, though, on the runway when you're getting ready to take off, so it's a little odd. Let's go into the cockpit. Oh, look at this. This thing flies beautifully. Come Okay, we're not turning fast enough to do what I wanted to do, so let's go up a bit, because I almost hit the ground. Hitting the ground is not fun. Watching my altimeter go down to almost zero. Oof. I love the radar altimeter. I love this. I just noticed the lines on the glass effect. Whoa, whoa. And I also noticed I was going towards the ground pretty fast. Why did it lag just now and make a noise? Did I break something off? I don't think I broke something off. Let's see. How high up am I? Uh, yeah, I'm high enough to do a loop. Oh, wait. Wrong way. So, now I'm pulling up. And you see my throttle over there. And down. I love that. I love how you can do that. Oh, this is... Look, and then I can zoom in at the ground. I love this. I love IVAs. They're so cool. Yeah, we're going to point it down for a little bit. Oh, that's beautiful. I love this design, too. I love this plane. I love how low I can fly it and just be safe. I love this. Look at this. I can't wait till they add, like, buildings and cities and stuff, because flying this plane around with a b whole bunch of buildings and cities and whatnot, this, this plane would be so fun to fly around and just, like what I'm doing right now, just panoramic views, and I should have had those indicators off, but oh well, too late. Ah, uh, this is beautiful. It's so fun to fly, and I love how you can just be like, hmm, I feel like screwing with throttle. Wee. 
with your mouse instead of with... Of course, you couldn't see what I was actually doing because I have the mouse set up to not record the mouse. Oh well. The only complaint I have about version 17, actually two complaints. One is that they haven't finished all the IVAs, and I thought they had, although that's more my fault than theirs because they said they hadn't, but I thought they had. Um, my only complaint is this, the high G button, it's, um, let's see, let's see if I can get it to light up. Nope, I can't. Oh well. Anyhow, um, it turns green when it activates, and it would be much cooler if it turned red, because it's like, you know, it's a bad thing if you're having high G force. Um, I'd like it to turn red. But, you know what? Alpha is alpha. Oh wow, that texture is low quality. That's probably something in the settings that, because I have to have the settings low, you know. I like this though. Look at this. Your head. Wait. Rad degrees heading. Huh. I haven't actually zoomed in on this stuff much. Uh, it's funny, I can know whether I'm in danger of hitting the ground or not just by looking at this. Oh, I'm going down, so I'm gonna go back up now. And then there's my altitude. Oh yeah, this is this is the altitude above sea level. Now, the tiny bar that's going around pretty fast, that's hundreds. Um, this other one is thousands, this longer one. And then the fat one, I think, is... Uh, uh, yeah, that's, so that's like uh, ten thousands. Let's see, I just started going down again. Oh, okay. Sure. Where's uh, KSC? It's over this way, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. And our speed's going down pretty fast. I love the I love this thing though. That's my favorite. Yeah. IVAs are just awesome. I haven't said this enough time. There needs to be an indicator for I think they should add an indicator here for landing gear. So and it changes colors. Uh, like okay, if you look at this, look at the left side of my screen, look at where the indicators for landing gear. Right now, they're sort of a pale green color, a very light, almost white, pale green. And then when I hit them, they turn orange while they're deploying. And then once they're out, they turn into this darker green, right? And then, let's see, if I hit the brakes, they don't change color. But if I turn on the parking brake, unfortunately, I can't turn on the parking brake while I'm flying. That's unfortunate, but... Uh, if I were to turn on the parking brake... Hey, look, let's land. Uh, there we go. Except now I can't see any of my indicators. I like having my indicators. So... Whoa, this is a weird way to look at things. I don't like this. Uh, how do I reset? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. There we go. And we're not on the runway. And I think my power just went out momentarily and then came back. Uh, come on. I can't see the ground. Uh, we're still not at the runway. Okay. Let's see if we can go up. Ugh. Oh, we're not at the runway yet. Oh, oh, we landed on it. Okay. Let me have brakes. Um, and then when I set the parking brake, which is a bit weird, I sometimes it works for me, sometimes it doesn't. Right now, it's not, it's not working for me. There we go. And you see how it turns that um, dark orange, it's like almost a red color. It'd be cool if we had an indicator on here, like maybe this bottom left, and it changed colors depending on the status of the landing gear. That'd be really cool. I just, I want to see all these used. I mean, I know they will and everything, but it's just so... Also, why does ROT turn on for SAS? What is... I, I mean, I think ROT means rotation, because that's, well, that's usually what I think of when I think of ROT. I mean, but it's, it's not because you're not rotating, or I don't know. 
it's just it's just strange. And uh, Sidsby is happy with this whole situation. We're gonna go outside. Now, if we get off, we can't get back on. So let's put up the landing gear, which was a little bit strange. Wow, these. Do you see that? How this wing is. Oh, I have SAS on. That. Look at this wing. This whole thing, it just. Uh, Wow, look at this. All the parts moving about a little bit as I try to change where I'm pointing, where I'm facing and everything while I'm on the ground. That's interesting. Now let's see. Yeah, I should be able to... Well, I can't walk up... Oh, I can walk up and just grab the ladder. Because the ladder is there even though it isn't. The ladder should just... Personally, in my opinion, the ladder should be just this tiny tiny section there because that's the only spot where there really is a ladder but oh well but let's pretend that is so we have to jump up and grab it so jump grab except we actually grab it up here whatever I it doesn't really matter anyhow this is a weird point of view oh we're inside a fuel tank right here yeah for a moment I was like what this thing doesn't have a bomb bay. Like, what is this? What is this? Th this doesn't have any structure like this at all. But yeah, there we go. Thanks for watching, etc. Oh yeah, these designs, except for that shuttle that I'm not actually going to put out because it sucks. Um, you can download these. Um, I'll put a link in the description to this thread on the KSP forums where I post these things. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, etc., etc. See you in space.